everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about my very first go-karting experience. So I went to JB with my friend Brian, his twin brother Bryson and their friend Kelvin last Saturday on the 3rd of December and they actually planned out the trip pretty nicely. So let me just run through the plan real quick. The original plan was to meet at 6.30 at Chua uh, and then we were heading to JB for a dim sum breakfast before going to the go-karting place. But uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, <coughs> World Cup, um, yeah, we ended up going late. Later than expected, I should say. So uh, by the time we reached the Tuas checkpoint, it was about 8, 8.30. And um, after going past the first immigration, um, there was a huge jam before the Malaysia checkpoint. We started queuing at the back of the jam at about 8.40 a.m., if I remember correctly. And by the time we reached the Malaysian immigration, it was 12.41. So we were stuck in the car for four hours. I had two good naps. And uh, yeah, that was our morning wasted. And uh, in the end, we decided to go straight to the go-karting place uh, for lunch before going behind the wheel. So the place we went to was Racing Underdogs and it was a very, very beautiful place. There are viewing galleries for those who just want to watch their friends drive around. And there were two cafes, one right in front of the track. I think they mostly sold refreshments like canned drinks and stuff. And there was the other cafe which had the very nice aesthetic as well as the trackside view and good food, of course. Uh, I ordered the grilled salmon with pasta while the rest ordered some chicken. And the food definitely tasted as good as it looked. I think, if I remember correctly, it was pretty value for money. So after lunch, we went straight to racing. And before I show you some footage, I just want to share with you guys the prices for what they offer. So they offer three types of cards, the first being the basic card, 55 ringgit for one session of 10 minutes and 135 ringgit for three sessions of 10 minutes each. Next is the B stage card, 70 ringgit for one session and 195 ringgit for three sessions. And the final card is the twin card, which is 75 ringgit for one session of 10 minutes. I guess the twin cards are for kids who are too young or too small to drive on their own, but still want to experience what it's like to go kart and uh, so they will just sit beside their parent throughout the lab. You can find more information on their pricing and other stuff on their website. I'll put the link in the description below. So we decided to go for three sessions on the B stage card. So we paid about 195 ringgit per person. And uh, for first timers, you are required to buy a balaclava for about 16 ringgit 90 cents. Um, but it's yours, so if you want to come back, you just bring it along with you and you don't have to pay for it again. Another good thing about this place is you can sort of save and redeem your sessions for another day. So for example, if after your first session, it is raining very heavily and you still have two sessions left, you can choose to come back another day and redeem the remaining two sessions. Okay, so now let's get into the driving. So for the first session, I was pretty conservative, just testing out the car finding out where to brake and just getting used to the circuit in general. And for the second session, I have just felt more comfortable behind the wheel, you know, I didn't really have to use the brake as much. And uh, for the third session, I lent the helmet with the GoPro to Brian, but the stupid GoPro overheated and didn't catch any footage whatsoever. But anyways, the third session was my best of all. I felt the most comfortable behind the wheel. I didn't use the brake as much as I did the first and second sessions. Brian and I even had a very good fight, which I hope we can get a perspective of that uh, if we ever go back again and if we both bring our GoPros. And I guess I can say I drove decently well for my very first time go-karting. And I really, now talking about it, I really, really want to go back again. And after we were finished with the go-karting, we actually went to a nearby mall. I think it's called the Sunway Big Box uh, for a drink and just a quick walk around. There was really nothing much at that mall, um, even though it was huge and we left after a while. And afterwards, we drove to dinner and on the way there, you know, we were pretty knackered from driving. As you can see, Bryson and Calvin just both knocked out coal and uh, we had look look for dinner. There was a wide variety of food to choose from and it was pretty delicious. Just that it isn't the healthiest, it's pretty oily and it's all fried and I guess that's where I got my sore throat from. And after dinner, we headed straight home and yeah, that was the end of our day trip in JB. My very first go-karting experience, 10 out of 10. Uh, if you guys want to try go-karting for yourself, I think Racing Underdogs is a pretty good place to go. Um, the staff are nice, the place is very beautiful. 
the food is good yeah just the complete package so yeah i guess that's it for this video thank you guys so much as always for watching i think i'm gonna put a little highlights reel after i finish my outro and uh, if you guys want to watch the entire uncut version of my second session uh, i'll put the link to the video in the description down below and hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did drop a like if you are not subscribed yet what are you waiting for and i'll see you in the next video bye